inside Jordan Henderson's contract stalemate with Liverpool future left uncertain. The Liverpool captain's contract has two years left to run, but talks over a new deal at Anfield have stalled and speculation over his long-term future. And even a potential exit this summer, has been brought up. When Jordan Henderson departs Liverpool, he will do so as the first man to lift the Premier League, who ended a 30-year wait for the English Championship. He will leave as a European Cup winning captain, following in the footsteps of Emlyn Hughes, twice, Bill Thompson, Graham Sowness and Steven Gerrard. He will exit having given in excess of 10 years service. With more than 400 matches under his belt and as one of the club's most admired professionals of recent years. It's quite the list of accomplishments. Made all the more remarkable when you consider he was almost cast aside after just 12 months at Anfield as the Reds sought to sign Clint Dempsey from Fulham. It was an opportunity I didn't want and I didn't like. I still felt I had an awful lot to give, he told the Guardian's Ian McRae in January. But I was in a very dark place at that time. It made us a lot stronger and a lot wiser later on and, without that, you never know what could have happened. Thankfully for the Reds, Henderson rejected the switch, stood his ground. Proved his worth to both Brendan Rodgers and Jurgen Klopp, and the rest is, as they say, history. Now, at the age of 31, speculation and uncertainty surround Henderson's future once more. The Liverpool captain is into the final two years of his contract on Merseyside a situation in which Virgil van Dijk Mohamed Salah, Sadio Mane, Alisson and Fabinho all find themselves also All six are in talks with the club over new deals, as sporting director Michael Edwards seeks to both retain and maximize the value of the club's premier talent. The Brazilian duo are close to signing new long-term deals, as first reported by The Athletic, while an extension for Van Dijk isn't expected to be a problem. The club are also confident over Main and Salah too, given that there really isn't a market for either given the financial issues facing Real Madrid. Also prioritizing Kylian Mbappe, and Barcelona, and that FSG have made clear to both how important they remain. But Henderson, the long-serving club captain, is a different situation and, despite the esteem in which he is held. Isn't seen it appears as a major priority. Liverpool would like an extension done, but the aforementioned quintet, are taking precedence. And given football is very much a, it's not what you've done yesterday, but what you can do for me tomorrow, business.
Perhaps that is the correct strategy. The five men mentioned are all arguably more important in terms of what they bring on the field. While all are younger than Henderson. In terms of transfer value, all would bring in fees considerably more than the England international. The interesting part of Henderson's contract stalemate going public, is how it has been brought into the public domain. At the weekend, Liverpool sought to push the narrative that they want to tie down Henderson to a new deal that could indeed see him end his career at Anfield. Of course, the devil is in the detail. Because separate sources are making clear that there is an impasse, that talks aren't progressing and even tipping PSG, Juventus and Atletico Madrid. And a reunion with Luis Suarez, as possible destinations should they break down altogether and an, at this stage still unlikely, summer sale occur. Henderson doesn't want to be drawn into a situation a la Wijnaldum, where talks drag on. Simply, he cannot afford to be out of contract at 33, so better to get the situation sorted now, but he also wants Liverpool to show how much he is valued. As with Wijnaldum, Klopp does not want his captain, who sets the standards for those around him, to depart. But then, were it solely down to the German, he wouldn't have lost the Dutchman. Liverpool's chief decision-makers, namely Edwards and FSG president Mike Gordon. Are looking to refresh and revitalize a squad that hit something of a wall in 2020-21. It's not going to be a single summer process. Especially in light of the coronavirus pandemic and the vast financial implications being felt across the world, to which Liverpool certainly aren't immune. But it's clear too that, with a number of their most important players now at the peak of their careers or fast approaching. There are going to be changes in the coming transfer windows. Ibrahima Kanate, snapped up from RB Leipzig for £35 million was one part of that and while they will move on other targets. There is an increased desire to shift some of the club's fringe players. Eventually, of course, veteran players will need replacing and it's been notable since pre-season that Klopp has spoken at length about young players. Notably Harvey Elliott, stepping up.